Lithium, okay, here we go. It's a bit tricky. Lithium is element number three on the periodic table. It's got three electrons. Where are those electrons? Here they are. We have to start with the lowest energy level possible. So that's n equals one. Now at n equals one, you can have one, zero, zero, plus one half, and then one, zero, zero, negative one half. That just described where both electrons, the first two electrons of lithium are. So those are the set of quantum numbers for those two electrons. But what about lithium's next electron? Well, it can't go into n equals one because we're finished now going through this set of quantum numbers. We now have to go to n equals two. So the third electron for lithium is at n equals two. Where? Okay, so right here. Here is the allowable set for n equals two. Now let's figure out where it is. When you're at n equals two, you can have an L equal to zero and one. You can go to, you can go to n minus one, zero to one. Now for the, the magnetic number, you can go from negative L to positive L, outer limit. So therefore, take that one and go to negative one, zero, one. And then the spin number is plus one half, negative one half. Okay, where's the third electron for lithium? Two, then we go to zero because it's the lowest one. But when this is zero, you can only have this allowable at zero. So two, zero, zero, plus one half. And that is the set of three quantum numbers for the three electrons for lithium. Now oxygen is going to get wild. Here we go. Oxygen's element number eight. Where is its first two electrons? At n equals one with one, zero, zero, plus one half, one, zero, zero, negative one half. What about all the other electrons, the six other ones? Here they are. They're at two, zero, zero, plus one half. Two, zero, zero, negative one half. Now where do we go? We have to go two, one to start the fifth electron. Okay, but when we go to one here, what's allowable when L equals one? All three of these. So we're going to go two, one, negative one, plus a half. Then the sixth electron, 2, 1, negative 1, negative a half. Now the seventh electron, 2, 1, no, 0. That's right. 2, 1, 0, plus a half. And then 2, 1, 0, negative a half for the eighth electron. Woo! Okay. Now let's go to n equals 3 and n equals 4. Let's go to n equals 4 and just show you the allowables and what the orbital designations are. When you've got n equals 4, what are the allowables for L? Well, we can go to 0, and then we can go to n minus 1. 1, 2, 3. What are the allowables then for this, the magnetic number here? It goes all the way from negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Those are all the allowables for the magnetic number. And the spin number, of course, is just plus 1 half or negative 1 half. Okay, these, le these right here, the angular momentum numbers, also correspond to, well, we just give them letters to describe the orbital uh, shapes. So here's what the letters are. Zero is the S orbital. The one is the P orbital. The two is the D orbital. And then the three is the F orbital. And then if you had four, five, six, seven, you'd go G, H, I, J. I know that that sounds kind of weird, but now we're going to take these quantum numbers and then kind of gently turn them into orbitals with these letterings that will actually make a lot of sense when corresponding to the periodic table. Watch.